Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in, in the past videos, we have demonstrated what is connection pooling and what are its benefits. Uh, I have demoed how we can configure a connection pool using uh, up DBCP, C3P0 and BoneCP libraries. Continuing our series further on the connection pooling libraries, uh, I will demonstrate how we can configure Hikari connection pool in this video. Hikari CP that is called Hikari connection pool as well offers much finer control to the developer as to how the connection pool gets initialized and how it runs. Also it is one of the fastest connection pooling libraries which make it a must try out connection pooling libraries for every developer. So here, uh, here you can see on a screen. I am on the uh, Maven repository. So from here you can uh, click uh, Hikari CP library. So once you click on the download bundle, then this version of Hikari will uh, Hikari CP will be downloaded. Now, once you download the jar file so which already i have downloaded so along with, along with hikari cp you required slf 4 jar as well so these two jars you need to add in your class path apart from that uh, uh, we are using mysql database so mysql character jar is also required so uh, here uh, in previous in past video series i have shown you how to configure connection pulling up using apache dbcp so I am going to make another copy of this project and there I will do some modification and I will show you how to uh, configure Hikari CP data source connection pooling. So if you did not watch my previous tutorial then I will request you to go and watch uh, how we can configure uh, Apache DB CP data source. So here I am going to rename this project, not rename but I am going to create another copy of the same project with name Hikari data source connection pool demo and let me close the previous project so this is the project here and let me show you first of all we require a jars in our class path so these are the jars is basically required for uh, dbcp so the jars i'm going to delete say yes all and here are these two jars and mysql connector is already in leaf folder so let's paste it and right click on the project go to the build path configure build path then select libraries and these are the libraries not needed at all so let's remove and add click on the add jar go to this project hikari data source connection pool and go to the lib and these two jars also we need to add in our class path okay so here if you look into the uh, reference library then you have a three all of three jars available over here now here let me show you the previous project i am uh, first of all i have a db script which already i have ran in my database so I, if i can open my sql Let me okay, open MySQL workbench. So first of all, you need to run this DB scripts. This will basically create a JDBC pool DB in your MySQL database. If it does not exist, then this will create. If that exists, then that's fine. So uh, after that, just I'm creating a table. It's called employee table and inserting three records in this table. So here is my SQL workbench and here, here I have configured my MySQL data with MySQL workbench. So this provides us the very nice UI, UI and there you can query your database, you can create table views, procedures etc. And here I have already this database and this table 
tables inside these tables you have a only one table which contains three records right now so what now i have a properties file there i have specified my all database information like database driver name url username and password so this is the key and this is corresponding value key and value is separated with the equal sign and just we will retrieve this value this value using this key in our java code and we'll make use of there and here uh, here i have a client program which is very simple so basically here i have used try with resources getting the connection from connection i am creating a statement and uh, just i am preparing a sql query just selecting data from the employee table and query, query, uh, just i am calling the execute query by passing this sql query i get the result i am iterating through the result and just try to display the all records as we have used here try with resources so these resources like connection and a statement you don't need to close in the finally block this will be closed automatically by the jvm and the program now most important is db util program so here uh, this coding we had done uh, for the dbcp right so this part of code i'm going to comment and instead of basic data source which is valued for the dbcp we are going to use hikari data source so you have a hikari data source make sure you have added required jars in your class path then you'll get auto support <laughs> sorry hikari data source and let's give the name data source itself now we can create an instance of this hikari data source so if you go to create an instance then you can see there are there are two constructor of hikari data source one is the default constructor second is the uh, a constructor which takes hikari config as uh, an argument so you can use any of them if you use first constructor then directly you can call certain method on data source object if you call second constructor then first of all you will have to create the hikari config object and hikari config object you will have to set all pro required property and finally hikari config object will have to pass to the hikari data source so i'm going to use the first constructor itself so any of one you can use but you must know the difference now let's set the first of all set driver class name and driver class name we can set we are retrieving from the property file and setting it over here and this is optional setting driver class is optional if you do not show it this will work because we are using java 8 so java 6 onwards this will automatically will be uh, driver manager uh, basically automatically find uh, uh, automatically this will be registered by the jvm right so now next thing we are going to set like set jdbc url and this jdbc url we can get from here property file now data source username we can set database username and we will set password database password as well So these three properties is mandatory to set. Now here there are some optional property which you can set that depends on the requirement how you are going to set. So like uh, there are many more property. So Hikari data source provides a lot of set and method to set those properties. So here I am going to uh, set like min idle so set mean idle means how many connections will be ideally present in the uh, connection pool if even though uh, uh, there is no request is coming right so that's i am setting the 100 now we can set set max connection pool so that i'm gonna set 10,000. and there are lot more more property you can set set uh, you can set even auto commit you can set false so automatically this is not going to commit so you have to begin the transaction and you need to uh, explicitly call the commit method then this is going to now set 
uh, login time how to can set so I'm going to set three seconds this time is taken in the second so three seconds so uh, our application will try to get the connection within the three seconds if that is going if you if that is taking more than three seconds then immediately this will throw an exception some SQL exception right so that's the meaning so there are a lot of many more property I will recommend you I will request you to go and try to go through the documentation and try to find what are the properties are uh, appropriate for your applications right so that's all so this exception is uh, this uh, method is throwing some exceptions so let's handle those exception as well now almost we are good to go everything is set now go to the client program and try to run it and see if we are getting output or not and here we get the output successfully right so i hope you enjoyed learning and i hope you would have learned uh, how to uh, create connection pool using hikari right and this is very famous uh, these days in the market a lot of organization uses i mean hikari to create a connection pool right and uh, to create a connection pool using hikari dbcp bone cp and c3p0 even you don't require any uh, application server or web servers but still if you have an application server or web server then you can club i mean I, uh, this information basically this info information rather than putting into the java code you can move on the uh, application server itself so that your code would be independent of this kind of code like these are the things we are setting over here these things you don't need to set even in your source code if you have an application server right and using the lookup process basically you will have to find the your service name right so that is called jndi right so you, you get the jndi using the lookup process and then you get the data source object and you can get the connection and the rest of the code will be same these things is going to move on the uh, server right so if you have an application server is an application so most probably these things will be moved to the your application server like you have a web service web logic glass piece web share tomcat there are a lot of applications and web servers in java jt so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i am going to uh, put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself if you have any query or questions related to uh, java then please do post below to the video and i will try to answer those queries thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial